Tim Jabley played football, basketball, and baseball as a youngster, but his football career began in earnest in the seventh grade when he played for a team coached by his dad, Dr. Ronald Timothy Jabley Sr. His dad had been an outstanding athlete in his own right and is a member of the Fanning County Sports Hall of Fame. As an eighth grader, Tim played at West Fannin Junior High School where his coach was yet another Hall of Famer, Mike Ballou. At Fanning County High School, he competed on the wrestling, basketball, and football teams. As a football lineman, he played both offense and defense, but soon found his niche on the offensive side of the ball. His teams at Fannin experienced dramatic ups and downs during his career. The 1987 team, Tim's junior season, had some success finishing with a record of 6-4. and four. The highlight of the season for the team and for Tim Jabley came on the night of September 11th when the Rebels defeated arch-rival Copper Basin to the tune of 29-15. to 15. At 6 foot 5 inches and 255 pounds, Tim had the kind of game that offensive linemen dreamed about. He was so dominant that his coaches named him as the offensive player of the game, an honor that rarely comes to an offensive lineman. Tim's high school career reached its high watermark during his senior season of 1988. He was selected as the team captain and was rewarded for his outstanding play when the Atlanta Journal-Constitution selected him as a member of the Class AA All-State Honorable Mention Team. He was recruited by numerous colleges, including the University of Georgia, Clemson, North Carolina State, and the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Tim was eventually awarded a scholarship to continue his football career at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. His goal from the get-go was to become a medical doctor, so he embarked on his college career pursuing a rigorous pre-med academic regimen in addition to the demands of playing football in a major college program. He is a very intense and motivated individual, and he managed to handle the academic and athletic demands in exemplary fashion. Academically, Tim completed his stay at UTC, graduating summa cum laude with a degree in biology in 1993. He won three varsity letters in football, starting for the mocks at offensive tackle in 1991 and 1992. In 1990, the Chattanooga Quarterback Club named him the most improved player on the squad. In 1992, he was the recipient of the Dale May Award for having the highest grade point average of all athletes at UTC. During his football career at UTC, Tim competed against such major powers as Alabama, Clemson, Boise State, and the Marshall Thundering Herd. He played at historic Legion Field in Birmingham, Death Valley at Clemson, and on the famous Blue Field in Boise, Idaho. The opening game of the 1992 season in faraway Idaho stands out as his biggest thrill in college. The Mox rose to the occasion and defeated a heavily favored Boise State team 35-20 to that day. After graduating from UTC, Tim Jabley headed to Memphis and the University of Tennessee College of Medicine. He continued on to Birmingham, Alabama, where he completed his internship and residency requirements. He then found his way home to Fanning County, where he opened his internal medicine practice in 2006. He remains in his practice in his hometown today. Tim says that his love of this area and its people, his family, will keep him in Fanning County until he retires. He has two teenage children, Timothy and Olivia. Timothy plays basketball and Olivia plays volleyball and is a cheerleader. His mother, Kay, continues to make her home in McKaysville. Tim's father, Ron Jabley, passed away in 2013. Dr. Ronald Timothy Jabley Jr. joins his sister, Leslie Jabley Mann, as a member of the Fanning County Sports Hall of Fame class of 2018. Both join their father, Ron Jabley, who was inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame in 2015. Join us in welcoming Tim Jabley as a member of the Fanning County Sports Hall of Fame.